Congratulations. How does it feel to have your first TKO victory? Oh man, it feels amazing. It's, it feels really good to get back in the win column and start finishing again. And it must feel especially grateful after the, the past two fights. Can you kind of tell me about that? Yeah, so the last fight, just getting the draw when I thought I had the win um, and, and not getting that win bonus just really sucked. Like I knew I had to get in here and, and actually finish. Like I didn't want it to go to the judges this time. What did you tell yourself after that draw to um, kind of keep yourself going? Um, I guess just, just keep training hard, um, just keep my mind sharp and keep working on that. Did your opponent have any surprises in the cage? Um, she had some power in her right hand for sure, uh, but she was kind of rushing forward with it and that's what made those takedowns so easy. When would you like to get back in there? Um, just another one towards the end of the year would be good with me. Do you have an opponent in mind? Uh, no, I don't. I haven't thought about that yet. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Well, let alone, you've, you've been successful getting submissions and other things on the ground, but getting a ground and pound victory, and does, that, does that feel a little extra special, something getting a new, a new uh, weapon in the arsenal? Yeah, I didn't even realize that that was my first TKO until like, after the fight in an interview. They were asking me about it, and I was like, wow, that really does kind of feel special. Um, those elbows cracking on a face <laughs> feel pretty amazing. I was going to say, I think, in the, was it the first round? I think you cracked her open, you bled her in the, in the first round. I mean, when you do that, at that point, does it just give you extra motivation that you're you just like, I got this. Yeah, so right when I cracked her, I kind of looked into her eyes and I could just tell that it was just going to be downhill from there for her. Like, I knew I was going to finish her. Well, it, I mean, we've seen you and you've been dominant on the ground. You've, you're, you're always good when you get on top of when you're able to work to the back, but it really seemed like that was almost a focus, something that you had really, really made a decision to try to step that up. Was that a big part of the, this training camp or just in, in recent trainings? Yeah, it was a big part of this training camp. Um, working with Elliot Marshall um, every day on my on my groundwork um, has really upped my upped my jujitsu and upped my control and um, and my ground and pound. And I know uh, a lot of fighters come in and they visualize how they see the fight playing out. What was the game plan coming in, and how closely did the the plan play out to what what we saw out there? It was literally exactly like I thought of, dreamt of um, the the kind of work I put in in camp. That's exactly how I imagined it. And you seem right now, you seem to be fighting on a, on a, on a I don't want to say a higher level, because you've always fought at a high level. What would you say has been the, the key to performing at, at, at the high level that you're at right now? Um, I feel like my mindset has definitely stepped up. I'm not um, as scared anymore. I used to be really, really scared to get in the cage, and those nerves would just kind of over, overcome my body, and I wasn't able to show what I was capable of. And when you look at the rest of 2021, what sort of goals are you setting for yourself? Um, just keep getting better, keep climbing the ranks. Congrats. Thank you.